Hi everyone, Namaskar. This is Dr. Banikant. Welcome to my health channel. I hope you all had a wonderful and a brilliant Diwali celebration. But watch it also a little bit of green and eco-friendly. Because when you woke up today morning, the air was covered with thick blanket of toxic smoke. And the air pollution is almost 18 times of that healthy limit. We all wish our friends near and dear ones a very happy and prosperous Diwali. But we tend to forget the fact that our happiness and prosperity directly or indirectly depend on how eco-friendly and responsible we are as a human being. Well, we all know that Diwali is a festival of lights which symbolizes the victory of good over evil. But we all love those little evil things like loud firecrackers over those innocent looking and soul suiting diyas and lambs. I am not completely against firecrackers, but it's high time that we become more pragmatic and responsible human beings for the sake of our own future. Firecrackers produce fumes like carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide, and particulates like lead, cadmium, magnesium, aluminium, iron dust powder, estoncium, arsenic, etc., which are very harmful for our health. All these pollutants can cause redness and irritation of eyes and throat, cough, difficulty in breathing, restlessness, insomnia, high blood pressure, hearing loss, and in long term, it can also cause infertility and lung cancer. The cool weather prevents the smoke and pollutants from dispersing, which results in formation of toxic smoke and it remains in air for several days. Right now when I am recording this video, the air quality index value in Delhi is more than 400, which is quite hazardous and has serious ill health effects. Every year more than 9 million people die worldwide due to air pollution. That's more than people died in any disaster or a war. And India accounts for 25% of deaths caused worldwide by asthma and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Every year after Diwali, there is significant increase in the number of patients with respiratory illness in hospitals. As people with asthma and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease like bronchitis and emphysema suffer the most due to air pollution. Pregnant women, young children and elderly are also at increased risk. So what can we do to minimize all these hazardous and ill effects? First of all, stop being a polluter because charity begins at home. Stay indoors and avoid smoke and polluted area. Avoid exercising in early morning. And people already suffering from asthma and bronchitis should take their medicines regularly and keep inhalers handy. Protective eyeglasses and gears can prevent the pollutants from entering the eyes. Face masks like N100 can be used. Eat healthy and drink plenty of water. And seek medical advice immediately in case of any respiratory troubles. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and share. Wish you all good health and prosperity. See you again. Jai Hind.